Hey guys, it's Jordan, and I'm a computer science major, and I work in retail, so I'm not a computer scientist. But that's the reason I'm making this channel. I want to document my entire process from where I am now, which is, you know, basically zero, and all the way to computer scientist, which is, you know, hero. I want to go from zero to computer scientist, and I want to document my entire process of doing it. Mainly because a lot of people that make YouTube channels and they're software developers or they're into computer science, they do share their experiences and everything but what they do is they start after the success so what i plan on doing with this channel is showing you guys while i am terrible at math and while i am still basically a beginner in programming and still brand spanking new showing you guys from zero to hero from a nobody to a computer scientist in real time i feel like by doing this you guys would be more into it because you guys are following me along the journey of while I'm actually still in school, haven't even got the associates yet, I'm not even a junior yet. And you know, just following me through the whole process of getting my bachelor's, getting a job, me giving you advice about how I actually got the job when it actually happens. And you guys can just learn while I learn. And that's the other reason I'm making this YouTube channel is to teach you what I'm learning while I'm learning it because teaching is actually another way of studying. So if I'm teaching my viewers what I'm currently learning, I'll understand it more, I'll get a better concept of it, and I will actually be giving out knowledge of what I'm learning so I'll be helping a community, which sounds like a really great idea. Now basically, who am I? You know, I'm just some random guy, who am I? I am a 22 year old computer science student that works in retail yep i said that at the beginning of the video and i'm saying it again i graduated in 2016 from high school and then i went to a community college and i was actually an accounting major when i first went into college my mom is an accountant i love her i took an accounting class i got a b so i said why not i honestly didn't know what i wanted to do and honestly after i failed my Intro to algebra class, the first time I've ever failed a class, I dropped out. I dropped out and I saw that a guy that I now still watch on YouTube, Graham Stephan, great person, he suggested real estate. And you know, me, I'm 18, I'm broke, obviously. I don't have any direction in my life and I honestly do like houses. So, I went for a real estate license. And not only did I go for a real estate license, I passed the test with a 70 and I failed the test to get the license. Three times, I failed it three times and it's $60 each test. So guess what happened after that? I went into car sales. And that is also where I gained my love for cars even more. I worked there for six months. I uh, loved my manager, one of them, and it was, a, it was a good place to work for six months. I was still lost. I was still lost the entire time. Around the time, I was in car sales, I was doing Duolingo. And while doing Duolingo, you know, I'm learning a language and I'm just looking at apps and I just think, I wonder if there's an app where I could talk to someone that speaks a different language in real time and we just exchange languages. The app actually exists now, it's called HelloTalk. But that's what I wanted to do. And I looked up like how I can make an app or how much it would cost to pay somebody to make the app it's expensive, it's ridiculously expensive. And at this time I'm 19 and I said, if I just go back to school now, I can get my computer science degree and I can learn how to make the app and I'll have a degree. So I also have something to fall back on. So I quit my job at the car dealership and then I went to my community college. I changed my major to computer science and I, st I couldn't start in the spring, which is when I wanted to start, but I started in the fall. Now, fall happens, I'm taking a very easy English class, and I'm taking an intermediate algebra class, the same one that I failed that made me drop out, and guess what I did, guys? Just guess, just guess. I failed again. But something happened this time, because I didn't quit. So, I had to go talk to like the head of the math department to allow me to take the class again, because I need it for my major, obviously. And I take it again, and this time my friend's in that class, and I have a very, very good teacher, and I pay attention the entire time, I'm taking math seriously, and I passed with a B. And then I ended up going to pre-calculus part one, passed with a B, 
Then I went to pre-calculus part two, passed with a B. And while I was taking the math classes, I was taking like my beginner technology classes. So I took intro to technology, which I passed with a B. I took my intro to programming after that class, I passed with a B. And then I took my Java class and passed with a B. I'm a B student, but I have a 2.8 GPA. So you guys are also gonna follow me as I try to get to that. 3.0 baby now at this point it's summer the summer that just passed okay i take calculus one i'm scared because remember i'm bad at math passed with a c and now i'm in calculus two and i'm in computer science one now these are my goals so from this point right now i'm going to start documenting you know little important parts of me earning my degree, I'm going to teach you some things that I would like to learn more about because obviously I have to do research on it. I have to learn more about it in order to tell you guys and teach you guys. And I'm going to just probably live code some projects when I can go live because I need a thousand subscribers to go live. And I'm going to create some very cool projects with you guys. So welcome to my journey to becoming a computer scientist. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I will greatly, greatly appreciate it. And so will the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.